Hi guys, in my previous video we talked about my bug out kit, now we're going to talk about my medical care kit, I'm an emergency first responder, and we're going to talk about my bulletproof vest. Why? Well, because in certain areas, uh, going to render aid is actually dangerous, so bulletproof vest. This is a 3A, it's not going to stop an AK-47 or AR-15 but it's gonna stop easily uh, handguns and shotgun rounds. So yeah, um, dual panel back in front weighs about mm, five kilos, eight pounds, and if you wear this in warm countries, it's a bitch. I can tell you that. Now, what is an emergency first responder? An emergency first responder is the guy that's a bit, bit well, maybe a bit or a lot below the uh, you know, EMT, uh, the ambulance guy and your typical, you know, I took a two day course on CPR. So we have like about six weeks of training. It's not that much, but it's okay. I took this because first of all, in a factory in China, I wanted to have the necessary knowledge when I was, you know, operating in China. And also uh, in certain countries, I would volunteer to be the district warden, uh, you know, for the staff, local staff, or for uh, people left and right, you know, like expats. So I like to have that knowledge, so I did that. Okay. Um, the reason for the bulletproof vest, like I said, is sometimes it's dangerous, so certain areas, so you want to have that. What do I have in my kit? Well, flashlight uh, and very fast, easy access, okay? It's going to be my tourniquet. Um, I practice to do it on myself as well, so that's basically you round and you have like the pen you can actually tighten up. So that's my tourniquet, very good, about $25 on Amazon. Um, you're bleeding to death because you have a, an artery uh, that's bleeding and you, ha you don't have a choice, that's good. Um, ear thermometer, but I also have my, uh, you know, like my distance thermometer today uh, with COVID-19, no need to tell you what this is, everybody has one of those. Uh, you see them everywhere in malls and everything to take the temperature. I have gloves in here because of course, first thing you do, wear gloves, all right. All right, so at the top, I'm gonna have, uh, this is for diabetes, okay, because you know you could die very quickly if your blood sugar level goes too low or too high. Uh, this is the contour with the Lancet. I have, uh, I have them, I have a bunch of supplies of them and the contour device as well and Mylar blanket just to keep people warm uh, very quickly. Now, what else do I carry in the kit? Uh, this is not a medical bag, by the way, by any stretch of the imagination, okay? I should have one of those, uh, unfortunately, unless I go to the US to buy it, uh, not likely where I am. Um, regular, uh, complete set of um, first aid, uh, which is just basically something I got at Costco, but I thought was good. Um, your regular pressure uh, monitor, diastolic, systolic pressure, heart rate. And then I would have uh, just, uh, this is from, just, just basically I just picked up on the stage, just uh, water, uh, sorry, um, alcohol, a full box of glove. Again, I have some on the side. This I carry because I have a spare. This is just my AM FM radio, but it's uh, also a, a, a flashlight with a crank, so I, I ran, never run out of electricity. Uh, just a, Regular container for pee or, if, or anything like that. If ever they need to do, a, you know, like test or something, I have one uh, sealed, easy. If ever you need to have urine sample tests, uh, ibuprofen, uh, 200 milligram each, which are legal everywhere. Alcohol, surgical kit. Um, this is a full surgery kit. I'm not a surgeon, uh, but if ever I need it for anything, I'm trained in certain things, which I probably shouldn't do, but I'm trained for it. Again, it depends on the country you are. Okay, in Europe, uh, in Europe, certain practices, even with CPR, are different than in the U.S. You know, in the U.S., they'll tell you give two breath. In, in, in Europe, they say don't even give breath. You have a different technique, uh, whatever. So that's basically just a regular surgeon kit with all the... Uh, um, blades and everything else, um, nothing special. Amazon, probably 15 bucks, I think. Um, then, what else do I have in there? Oh, this one is empty. I should know my kit by heart, but to be honest with you, again, I'm not doing this professionally, and I should even know how to open the zipper, which I seem to have forgotten. All right, uh, these I have in plenty, okay? Uh, just basically, uh, uh, you know, cutting just to wrap wounds or something. Uh, hot, cold patches. 
Very good to have. Hammer to break window, and I do have one in my car, and this can cut seat belts. I have it in the car, but I also carry one just in case I get to a car accident and I, and I need to break the window very quickly. Uh, of course, uh, a pen for reports, very important. Scissors, um, another pen, uh, a wrist guard, always use, or, you know, always useful just to have, just in case to stabilize. A notepad again, because you know you're gonna have to take notes. Uh, this is part of the training. And uh, yeah, uh, what else do I have? Um, oh yeah, just your typical uh, satch, but uh, this is just easier because it already is pre-made. Um, of course, I can make it with those. And uh, that's it. So that's my kit. There's not that much in it. I uh, just made a video quickly. But the thing that you want to understand is that around the world, okay, um, you're going to not have an equal level of access to call the ambulance or something like that. You don't necessarily have prior medic with the same training. So I carry literally my basic, basic first aid kit. This is basically an advanced first aid kit. And the reason why, like I said, I did the, the emergency first responder and I did the, the extra for kids since I have a kid, it's because I really feel that in certain countries, um, you know, I don't have the confidence that if I call 911, I'm gonna be answered or it's gonna be easy to get anybody to come to the house to actually fix the problem that we might have. And, uh, you know, when we travel around and I keep this in the car, it's always with me. So if I need it, I just jump into action and I do it. And that's it. So anyway, that's what I put in it. Uh, I hope that video was useful. Uh, if you, you know, like the video, subscribe, give me the thumbs up and see you in the next video.